We don't often talk about sort of the relation between those two topics. So the reason we thought of this back three years ago was because we saw a speaker um, named Drew Kahn who was running an interesting program at Buffalo State College called the Anne Frank Project. So the Anne Frank Project started when Drew Kahn, as a theater professor, put on a production of Anne Frank, um, and he had the regular, he had the normal Anne Frank thing going on, but at the same time he had simultaneously um, a girl from Rwanda performing the same words uh, for the genocide for the for the play that uh, Anne Frank was saying. And he noticed that when he did that, it got a lot of attention. Students were interested in talking about genocide, about realizing that there are still Anne Franks in the world, and uh, it was sort of an entry point to talking about uh, global human rights issues. Um, so we thought, how do we tell more stories that are important and get people interested in a dialogue about human rights? Uh, he came here, he gave our keynote that year, and we're all very moved by that. And uh, we were starting to think, where do we take it from here? Uh, what's, what is stopping us from telling our stories? So last year we did uh, hum storytelling and human rights and censorship and free speech. And we looked at issues pertaining to free speech here in the States and worldwide. Our keynote was um, Henry Reese from City of Asylum Pittsburgh. It's a great organization. They provide housing for exiled writers from around the world who live here in Pittsburgh, continue to work, continue to write, uh, away from persecution in their own countries. So that was a great event. This year we were thinking, uh, so we, people, some people are censored um, very obviously by political measures or prison or something like that. But there are also voices that we just don't hear, voices that don't have access to the mainstream media or don't maybe fit our preconceived notions of the world and we're less uh, apt and likely to hear those voices. So how do we create a space that allows the less heard, the unheard, the marginalized voices uh, to, to have a forum to, to get their ideas across? Because their, their stories are important, probably more important than the ideas and the stories of the people who we expect, with the thing, saying things that we expect to hear, right? Because they're going to challenge us to think about the world in new ways. How do we create a space for that? So that brings us to this year. And uh, the Voices on the Margins Symposium. Okay, thank you for sticking with me for that. Okay, notes, notes, notes. Okay, so now I'm going to call up Nick Moran uh, from the Honors Program and USG and Confluence to introduce uh, Dr. Granger, our keynote speaker. And um, I would just like a round of applause to bring Nick to the stage so he can introduce. 